Elijah of Buxton was the result of a desire of mine to write something about slavery. I can't think of a more difficult subject to write about because when I write, I like to put myself in the place of the character and try to imagine what it would be like. It's not in my powers to imagine what it would be like to be a slave, to be completely dehumanized like that and uh, to, to have to surrender your humanity really and worse yet to have to teach your children that that's what they have to do. So by uh, setting Elijah in Buxton, Ontario, which is about 40 miles from Detroit in Canada, a terminus of the Underground Railroad that actually did exist and is still there. North Buxton is still there uh, with 200 of the ancestors of the original settlers still living there. By setting it there, I was able to look at slavery without being actually in it. Elijah came to me differently than the other stories have. And I, I don't know if it's a function of me becoming a, a better writer, growing as a writer, learning more what I'm doing, because I've, I haven't written many books and I'm, I'm still feeling my way around trying to know what to do. I'm hoping that's what the case is, that I finally got it down. I, I don't think so. But uh, I think that Elijah came to me very, very easily. The story, as I said, I'd written the, the last chapter first. I had a lot of the characters there, everything set. Didn't turn out to be the way it ended, but uh, once I started backtracking from that last chapter and found out more about Elijah and about the community in Buxton, I, some of the time there's just some things that really strike you. This, this book really, really grabbed a hold of me from the very beginning. It took a very short time to write for me. It took about six months for it to, to be essentially done, and that's a very short time for me. I, uh, I divide my writing into two phases. I, as I said, I get up in the morning at 5 o'clock. That's my editorial time. From 5 until about 8, I take what I've written the day before and try to beat it into the form of a story. And then from about 9 until 12 uh, is when I go to the library. And that's my creative time. And I've learned that uh, during that time period, I just let the story go. A lot of things that I'm writing I know won't end up in the book. They don't seem to have anything to do with the story, but I've, I've learned I just let them go because it gives me some kind of background on what it is that I'm writing about. And I can tell during the process when I'm writing that I've, I've got the story and I know where it's going when the editorial part becomes much shorter than the creative part. Um, and with Elijah, it was almost from the word go that the creative part was there and just about everything I would write. I kept and uh, would hold on to, which was unusual. And I'm hoping, which is going to be the status quo from now on, we'll see.